mother is definitely my foremost female icon hero and was the first female rock disc jockey in Montreal, Canada. She was so in love with her generation, I think it instilled not only a love of music, but my own uh, goal to find my generation and to find who my community were and uh, also to play music. I always knew I was going to be a bass player. I don't exactly know why. Now I know why so many uh, years into being committed to the bass and the bass having been my magic carpet ride through life at this point. So I started on a Fender Squire, well a Squire Precision, so I've always played a P bass and I got it for I think my 16th, 17th birthday from my father. Both my parents are very supportive and I started playing in a band shortly after. I have never ever played anything but I'm very loyal to my gear and I, mean, I have a phenomenal exclusive collection of basses that were made custom for me uh, in the 90s and they have been around the world with me many, many, many times. I have a very a very unique relationship with my bass. It's an incredibly mystical relationship that I have with my instrument. I have one really beautiful vintage one that I got during the making of Celebrity Skin that's sort of the, the prize and glory because she's a 60s one, so she's a vintage. But the other ones are all, the ones I play live were custom made for me and no one's ever played them but me and I've gone through a lot of emotional journeys on the road with those things and I'm very, very respectful to the, the brands that have made these special beasts that I call my weapons. <laughs> the Smashing Pumpkins are definitely the band that changed my life on every level um, and Billy Corgan in particular being really my first big brother in music who took a chance on me and, and believed in me. The sound of the music was so, it, it changed something in me. I found myself and my musical landscape inside of me and anyone who knows and loves music knows that feeling when you see, you hear something for the first time and you discover yourself. Objectively, I don't know what it would be called, my genre, but it's definitely, I, I mean, I call it heavy romantic rock music. It's got heavy elements, it's very romantic, it's classic rock music and that it's got melodies and choruses and, and verses. It's definitely got a fantasy goth element, a tendency to want to escape into a parallel universe to describe real feelings. Like I'd rather talk about the love between a pirate in the ocean than a woman and a man because that's not as exciting because we all know that every day. I'd rather talk about the ocean love affair. I've come a long way even since my first record and although I'm a veteran in rock music this is only my second record and I'm a still artist in development uh, but I'm very very proud of um, the expansion, what I learned from making and touring 200 shows for that first solo record having never been a front person before and finding that new side of myself. My goal was to have one message uh, that could go into any medium and connect with people on various um, emotional levels. I wanted to create an experience with this new project where people could find endless dimensions to one song. So Out of Our Minds started as a song and it expanded into a full record, uh, the, the, the film, the comic book, the live experience, the art experience, the online experience, so that viewers and listeners have options, which I think is very important nowadays because of how like pinpoint everything has become this like tiny little like get here now. I I don't want them to get here now. I want them to go on a long journey with me and so that's the new project. <laughs>